Hi, and welcome to Azure NetApp Files. In this video, you're going to learn the basics to get you started with your new Azure NetApp Files service. I'm Kirk Ryan, and I'm going to take you through how to register the provider and how to get started by provisioning, deploying, and mounting your first NFS or SMB share. Let's take it away. So let's get started. Before you can use Azure NetApp files, you need to have registered for the service. The service is GA, however there is an application process that you need to complete. This takes a few minutes uh, for, for you to fill the form and send it our way. Once you have the acknowledgement email from our team saying that you've been onboarded into the service, simply visit your portal.azure.com, uh, go to all services and storage and you'll see Azure NetApp Files is available for you. Now the very first thing you need to do is create a storage account. You do that by clicking add, providing a name, and then selecting a resource group. Currently ANF is available in all of the following locations. Once you've done that, and I already have one in Northern Europe and one in Western Europe, if you click into the account you will have capacity pools and volumes. Capacity pools are best thought of as your reservation on the NetApp system within the Azure Data Center itself. So, for example, I am reserving four terabytes of space for my environment here, which I've called demo. Now, I'm not actually presenting that data, that space, to my systems at this point. What I need is a volume. My volumes are carved out of my capacity pool. So for example, let's say I have an Oracle database and I would like to provision that from my, res my reserved demo pool. I give it the correct size here and a very important footnote, the size of your volume dictates the performance that your volume will get, the throughput. So for example, if I have uh, one terabyte of space, I will have one terabyte times the SLA and they'll be showing up on your screen now. I choose a virtual network, I choose a subnet and I uh, deploy. Now on the next page I have what protocol to deploy, NFS or SMB. If I'm using Oracle Unix systems it's typically NFS, if I'm using Windows systems it's typically SMB. Please note that if you use an SMB, you will have to set up your Active Directory connection first. You do that very easily with this button over here. Uh, your ANF must be able to see your DNS and AD services, whether they're in the cloud or whether they're on-premise down an express route, for example. In addition, with NFS, I can do export policies, so I can lock this down to a very specific set of clients, uh, IP addresses or ranges, and I can lock read, write, or read only. Next is a standard Azure thing. I can tag and uh, run my validation and hit create. So our deployment's complete. In just a matter of minutes, we have deployed enterprise-grade NFS services into Azure. And as you see, it's all native Azure. Uh, object resource management. So here I have the names, the activities, I can lock the control with IAM, I can export this as a template for future automation, and more importantly, if I'm just getting started, there's some basic mount instructions here to get you going. So as you can see, getting up and running with Azure NetApp files is simple. For more videos and more use cases such as SAP, Oracle, SQL, virtual desktop, hit subscribe and you'll be notified instantly when we have new videos across new use cases.